Life Audio. Teach Us to Pray is brought to you by Life Audio and is a part of our Faith Toolkit series. For more inspirational, faith affirming podcasts, visit lifeaudio.com. Welcome back, friend. You are listening to the Teach Us to Pray podcast, where we teach believers practical and real life tips on how to grow your faith and relationship with God through the power of prayer. I'm Christina Patterson, host of the Teach Us to Pray podcast and founder of Beloved Women, where I encourage, equip, and empower women in the love of Jesus Christ and the truth of God's Word. We are continuing our three-part series on the three ways that God answers prayer. He answers with a no, a yes, or a maybe. Last time we talked about how sometimes God answers our prayers with a no, but even in that, God is good and we can trust him because he's working all things out for our good and his glory. If you hadn't had an opportunity to check out that episode, be sure to check out the previous episode so you can learn more about how to respond and receive a no from God so that you can still be encouraged by the heart and will of God, even when the answer is no. Today, we're going to be talking about how to respond when God's answer to our prayer is yes. Now, obviously, this is our favorite way that God will answer our prayers because that's why we're praying them in the first place, because this is what we want. And sometimes, many times, If we're honest, if we remember, God does give us what we want. He answers with a yes. Now, here's the thing that we have to be careful about. Don't miss the yes. And what I'm saying is sometimes we'll be praying about something. We'll move on with our life and God will answer our prayer. And we'll forget that we even prayed about that thing. We can kind of take it for granted sometimes, can't we? Then we'll get to a point where we'll start complaining about it. That job that we prayed for, that family that we prayed for, being able to get into that school we prayed so fervently for it and God gave us a yes and we were so happy and we moved forward and now we're carrying the weight of that yes. We're carrying the harvest of that season and sometimes even a yes can be heavy. And now we got to put in the work. Now we can choose to be thankful and remember that this is an answered prayer or we can complain (laughs) and we can become frustrated and we can forget the blessing that God has given us with the yes to our prayers. But we can't assume that just because it's good and we got a yes, that is going to be easy. There's going to be work. There's going to be challenges. Oh, and you better believe there's going to be some spiritual warfare. So it's important for us to remember that the blessings that God has given us, the blessings that we desired, that he granted us are from him. Because what it's going to do, it's going to encourage us to continue to remember where our blessings come. It's going to point us back to God. Now, the other temptation that we might face when we have an answered prayer is to make it an idol. Sometimes, yeah, we prayed for it and we got it. And then we forget all about the God that gave it to us. Now, God's not going to answer a yes for us to then go serve whatever it is that we prayed for. That man, that money, that promotion, that ministry. No, he has a purpose for it and a reason why he allowed our desires to line up with his will and give us a yes. But ultimately, as believers, our focus Our devotion, our worship is always to him. Not the blessing, but the one who blesses. Not the answered prayer, but the one to whom we pray. It's going to be so important that we remember that. That we remember where our yes came from. Because if we don't, we'll be tempted to worship our answered prayers and not the God that answers.
Now, I also want to make this note when it comes to answered prayers. It is okay for God to answer your prayer with a yes. And I'm making this clarification because I know there are certain people out there that may feel guilty when you get what you want. (laughs) Sometimes we feel like we have to live these sacrificial lives on the altar of inconvenience to prove to God how much we love him. And yes, sometimes we need to make sacrifices, but sometimes God just flat out gives you what you want. And when he's trying to bless you, don't turn away from it. Don't miss the yes. Don't forfeit it because you feel like you need to prove something to God that you sacrifice this for him. No, receive it with thanksgiving and give him all glory for it. Now, let me give you a personal example so you can kind of better understand what I'm talking about here. When I was in college, I met my husband, Donald. And y'all, I had the biggest crush on him before he even knew it, right? And I didn't really know what to do with myself. I prayed to God about it and I was like, okay, I, I really like him, you know? And we were friends and we were in some of the same circles and things like that, but I didn't really know how to approach the situation. So I just continued to pray about it. And Donald and I continued to grow in our friendship and get to know each other. But I just, I wasn't really sure if he liked me or not. I didn't know if he knew that I liked him. I just wasn't really sure about the situation. And also I was in a season where I was trying to stay focused on God and not get distracted. I had come out a season where I was in a relationship and it did not end well. And I made some mistakes in that relationship and I felt guilty about it. And I really wanted to do things right the next time. So when things started to grow between Donald and I, I got scared. I became fearful because it was like, wait, God's answering my prayer. I really like this guy. And I think he might like me too. Is God really working this out in my favor? And because I had just the guilt of my past, I didn't really feel like I deserved like this good, healthy relationship. And I felt like I needed to prove to God that I would sacrifice, you know, being in a relationship to just be sold out for him, you know, and that's great. The issue was God wasn't calling me to do that. He was trying to bless me with a beautiful marriage and family. And thank God he didn't let me get in the way. So I remember one day I walked into my dorm room and I know that it was the Holy Spirit that led one of my friends to say this to me when I walked in because it just kind of came out of nowhere. The thing was, was we weren't even like talking to each other. Like I hadn't talked to her about what was going on. We, We hadn't had any conversation. I walked in and she just looked at me and was like, Christina, Sometimes God gives you what you want. And I was like, okay. And I just walked to my room. But y'all, I knew that was God speaking to me. And what he was saying is, I'm trying to bless you with the relationship with the guy you have a crush on and you keep pushing it away. I'm trying to give you a yes to the desires of your heart and I need you to receive it. And I'm so glad that God made that message clear to me because sometimes will allow shame and guilt and mistakes of our past to prevent us from receiving a yes from God. And like the song says, when Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. So if God is giving you a yes, receive it. Take the territory, go forth and enjoy it because that's why he's giving it to you. Don't push it away. You don't have anything to prove. The Father wants to bless you. Thank Him for it. Give Him glory for it and enjoy it. You know, I think of the Israelites and God giving them the promised land that He said that they that He would. But how many of you know not all of God's chosen people received the promised land? Not all of them that could have received the promised land. Why? It wasn't because God said no. God said they could. 
It was because they were intimidated to go forth in their yes and receive all that God has for them. There are some of you who God is trying to expand your territory. He's giving you a yes and you need to receive it in faith. Just like we receive a no from God with faith that he's with us and that he cares for us. He loves us even when the answer is no. We need just as much faith sometimes when the answer is yes to go forth and take what God is giving us. And then we give the glory right back to him. And this is where we share our testimony. Because remember when I shared with you about how sometimes God answers with a no, that even then all things work together for the good of his glory. The same is true when the answer is yes. All things work together for his glory. So now it is up to you to give him the glory and share your testimony. Share the goodness of God when he blesses you. Let others know that it was him that that good thing came from. So, as a review, when the answer to your prayer is a yes, receive that yes. Give God glory and never forget where your answered prayer came from. It is my hope that today's episode has provided you with insight and helpful tips on how you can pray. Be sure to listen to our next episode where we will talk about when God's answer to our prayer is wait, when he gives us a maybe. We have so much more to talk about when it comes to prayer. So I hope that if you were encouraged by today's episode, you will share it with a friend and subscribe so that you don't miss any future episodes of the Teach Us to Pray podcast, where we will continue to learn how just like breathing, prayer can become a natural, consistent, and life-giving part of our everyday lives. Until then, be sure to connect with me at belovedwomen.org and check out the show notes to download my free five-day prayer guide. I also want to invite you to study the Bible with me by downloading the Beloved Women app available in the Apple and Google Play stores or at belovedwomen.tv. Thank you so much for taking time to listen today. God bless you and I'll talk to you in the next episode. Teach Us to Pray is a production of Life Audio and the Salem Web Network. If you enjoyed this episode, would you take a minute and leave us a review in your podcast app? It really does help more people like you find the podcast. To hear more from Christina Patterson, be sure to check out her fantastic site, BelovedWomen.org. A special thanks to Kelly Givens, Stephen Sanders, and Stephen McGarvey for their production and editing on this episode. You can find more podcasts like this over at lifeaudio.com.